is Kitty Blue. It is November the 5th <laughs> and um, I have a box opening to do. This is from uh, Denver Doll Emporium. Um, I got an in-stock doll from the company Dream Valley and uh, Zero, <laughs> Zero is here. He's on the back of my chair so I'm barely sitting in this seat. <laughs> Silly dog. He wanted to check out the box. So we're going to go ahead and do a box opening video. Um, it is not a smart doll, but it is a BJD. So, let's just get started. So we have a Denver Doll Emporium.com. They carry lots of different dolls. Um, I believe they do they do pre-orders, but they have in-stock dolls and clothing and wigs and stuff as well. That's my slip. It is a Dream Valley box. Okay. So, the um, story behind this is that I had seen this doll when it first showed. It's a limited doll. Um, can't remember the name offhand, but I'm sure it'll be in the card in here. But I saw the doll when it first released. I think it was back in April, and it's a, it was a limited doll. And for some reason, um, I just totally forgot about it. And uh, I don't know if I was just busy with other things or, or whatnot. Whoa, resin. And... Um, I couldn't believe I missed this doll and I was just like looking everywhere I posted some wanting to buy and everything and somebody on Den of Angels actually messaged me and said oh my god said that there was one in stock at Denver Doll Emporium so I'm like all right we're going to get it so um mm, not sure if I like the full blushing they didn't have this version in blank so I had to get the full blushing but it is a cat doll and it is in um, black resin. And um, yeah, let's just get started. We have some eyeballs here. One second. Okay, just had to pause it for a second. Um, the dog was <laughs> trying to push me off my chair. So, uh, all right, here we go. So we've got some eyes. They are yellow with, um, they're like cat eyes. That is cool. They are glass. Um, this is, okay, this is his tail piece. So he has, I don't see any, I don't know if the card is underneath or, oh, that's right. There's like these, they give out these keychains. They're, they're just these like little fob kind of things um, that have a picture on it. So this is pretty much what their, um, what you call it, <laughs> certificate of authenticity is, is just this little thing. I guess they, I guess they can't duplicate these. It says, my dear master, glad to meet you. My name from you is, blank is my birthday. Yeah, they don't like put any information on there. Although there's like some kind of signature or something at the very bottom here in like gold. All right. Anyway, back to opening it. Um, so yeah, they didn't have it blank. Um, I actually prefer things that aren't fully blushed because a lot of times, that's interesting. One is longer than the other. Um, I usually don't like things that are fully blushed because I don't always like the blushing on it. And, um, the blushing on this one is, they like blushed it gray or brown or something over top of the black. Almost like a peach kind of color. But we'll see what is going on with the rest of these things. Um, these are probably the ears. I feel like I'm opening this backwards that I should have pulled the doll out first. Oh, they have like some gold, they have some gold like fleck color in them. That's interesting. 
So these are his huge ears, magnets. So hopefully there's magnets actually on the doll head. There's a little, little cleaning sponge. His little face cap came off. And then there's this, um, I don't know, there's this extra piece. I'm not exactly sure what it is. Huh. Not sure what it is. So we'll, we shall find out. So yeah, as I mentioned, he does have... Yeah, I'm not, I'm not so thrilled about this body blushing because it's not really, it looks like they like toss some gold speckling on the bottom of the feet. Um, it's very hard to tell in, on my camera, but this is like, you know, black, black. I mean, this is black resin. And then the, um, yeah, it's like a beige kind of color that is the blushing on it. Um, and it's got like, Little paw feet. Oh, okay, now that's cute. That is a cute detail. <laughs> that is a very cute detail. I almost wish that, like I said, I kind of wish that there wasn't all this beige color, pink color, whatever you want to call it, blushing because um, I think with just the black and with some gold details, that would have looked really, really cool. All right, we're going to... Uh, pull off his wrapping on his hands. I'm going to guess the hands maybe are the separate, the same. Gold in the paw print. Um, I would have liked to have seen them actually paint the claws because there are very, very tiny claws in these hands. Um, I would have liked to have seen them paint those gold. I think that would have been a neat detail. But I'm nitpicking, right? Just be thankful that I have this fabulous doll. But, um, oh, like I was saying, that's somebody on Dead of Angels sent me a message and I was like ecstatic. And I immediately went to Denver Doll Emporium and like purchased it. Um, even though, like I said, it was full blushing and it didn't really want full blushing, but that is what you have. So these. The um, emblem on the back says Dream Valley, and it is gold. It's like gold plated. I'm not, yeah. I'm just not very impressed with that face up. I mean, he's a he's a gorgeous doll. But yeah, the face up is just like it. Eh. All right, so um, joints. We have his arm kind of sticks up like that. What, with most dolls, this usually wants to just flop down, um, but he is double jointed, so he can bend that exactly. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to go in and... and there's like no blushing, there's like no, there's like no blushing on his, his paws. There's like slight blushing on the top, but not like that, so it's... I don't know. I don't know. Stop complaining. There is it bent. Um, I don't think there was any images of this doll in black and what the blushing would look like on the black, but maybe he'll look better with his eyes and stuff in. So um, there is something else here that I have not opened. I'm not sure what it is. I'm still trying to figure out what this one piece is. It's like it's like you take a hook and hook it somewhere. I don't, I don't know. It's odd. Oh, huh, interesting. So I guess he came with um, human hands too, which I'm, I'm not going to use. So we'll just set that aside. But yeah, I don't understand. Oh, and the magnet already came out of this one piece. Fabulous. I haven't even had it for one day, and the magnet came out. All right, so, um, yeah, this is his, it's like a bone kind of tail. It wants to kind of spin around here. 
obviously going to have to get a different magnet or something in here. And cat ears. These are pretty epic cat ears. Really loving that, but oh, I totally just, I wish, I wish he would have been blank. <laughs> so I could have gotten this like just phenomenal like face up on him. Um, I might have to send him out to somebody to just kind of add to his face up. Um, he does, oh actually he does, he does have eyelashes which are nice. Um, but with like the gold details that are in the, like the feathering of the inside of his ears and even the back of the ears, I would have liked to have seen that on like the feathering on his hands or something or something else on the body. Um, looks like I said, it looks like they just kind of threw some gold speckling on the bottom part of his legs. But it's not really very, yeah. And this is a very pink kind of beige color. I mean, it is black resin. I'm sure it's probably difficult to blush black. But, yeah. Okay, so we've got a joint here. Um, this is odd the way it's shaped because this looks like it's a mobility, mobility joint but it's not. Um, this is actually attached to the ball part of the leg. Um, so yeah, it's kind of odd the way that's built. And the legs are not quite double jointed. It does, oh, get your tail out of the way. There is like, it is a peanut joint but there's not really anything that the bottom part can do. Whoa, it doesn't stay up in any type of position on its own. And it just wants to fall back down like that. So, yeah, I'm kind of disappointed that there's not like a card or something because I don't even, I have to like look at my Receipt, what was his? Um, okay, so the name is Z-H-A-O, and it says Cat Basic Black Resin Full Makeup. So it is USD size. I um, can't remember what it said. 30-something centimeters. Um, I'll have to get his eyeballs in. Yeah, he's pretty cool. He's pretty cool. Gonna have to uh, send him out for some different blushing or something. It does look like they try to attempt to put some gold like powder dust or something on the um, tip of the tail as well, but I think it would have showed up much better if it was just plain black resin. That is me. Whoa. So I don't know whether or not, um, yeah, the tail. I might actually cover the tail with faux fur. So the one thing is going to be is if this doll actually stands and so far it does not. There we go. Okay. So he does stand, although these the legs want to kick back. So I'm probably going to have to try and sway the inside of the knee there so this doesn't keep kicking. He's really, really cool. I really like him. Yep, he needs a wig and his eyes in. And some clothes. Um, I do have some clothes, but I don't know whether or not I want to cover up. He might, I might have to find some like shorts or something for him. So, um, cause I was going to put some stuff on him, but I have like this <laughs> badger, like sweater that I made for, um, one of my other dolls, but I don't know if I have any, 
Oh, I might have these shorts. I don't know if these will actually fit though. Let's see if these shorts will fit. I don't think so. These are these are gray shorts. Um, I think from Goodro, which is an American um, ball joint doll company. Oh, I think they might actually fit. Well, they do actually fit. They're a little tight. They're a little tight. Um, yeah. I would say if I try to like get, if I like went to sit him down, the snap would probably pop open. And um, let's see how, okay. And um, the tails, attach pretty well on top of clothing. So yeah, there we have it. Dream Valley Black Kitty Boy. Um, I'll put some pictures up on my Instagram at some point. Um, I'm still trying to upload all of my videos. And I'm going to check out the um, listing for this doll because I want to check out the blushing that is on them and see if I can find any pictures of what the blushing should have been on the black but I really do like the gold detail of the paw prints um, I think it would have been neater if the if the hands were op all the way open so that you could see the paw prints as well, like the feet. Um, but they are kind of closed fisted hands. And yeah, I'm gonna do something about the, get the nails painted gold. I don't think I'm gonna be able to do it. <laughs> I can't even like see the nails on the feet. Um, but if I get a magnifying glass or put some glasses on, I probably can see them. So I'm rambling now after 17 minutes. Ramble, ramble. Um, thank you so much for watching this box opening video. Feel free to leave comments. And um, yeah, I'll leave link, link, uh, I'll leave a link to the website of Denver Doll Emporium and um, all the information on this doll. So thank you so much. Until next time, take care and stay safe. Bye.